shared this. Let me say this. It's one thing to lose your girl. It's a whole another thing to lose your girl who in the process of trying to love you ended up losing herself. You ain't gonna never live that pain down, man. It's going to haunt you. It's going to eat you up because there's some women that you only get once. You only get that version of her once or you might only get her once because she ended up leaving and never turned back. But I think it's something that we're, we don't understand, especially if you're a man and you feel like you got options and you buy into all of this hype that your value going up and women's value going down and blah, blah, blah. And I hate that we've been so manipulated by a lot of this ego stroking that goes on by these male podcasts to tell us as men, we never really have to be accountable to the decisions that we make because there's always another woman waiting. There's always women who want marriage and relationships. So we can just wait till we're 70 to finally settle down and get in a relationship. And let me tell you this, man, I'm, I'm hearing from too many of y'all. And it was one in particular who just kind of broke my heart. I ain't going to hold you because I could relate to him. But I feel like every man comes across one woman that's truly set apart. Like God is always going to send us that one daughter of his that we're supposed to take care of. And if we mishandle that blessing, brother, you will never find another her. You will never find another woman like that. You may find a woman that's pretty. Here now is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I wanna be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex. Um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with. Um, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out, um, def definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took. Um, and definitely not in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the standard that I'm going by now. Now, I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm you know, married to you guys. First and foremost, I'm accountable to God. Then I have to be accountable to my wife, in which we've already had this conversation. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first at the time so did you have an emotional affair with old Fabian did you like him <laughs> no <laughs> no I did not I was dealing with I was dealing with um some severe heartbreak like the things that I seen Derek doing yeah. with other other women at the time and I was really um attached to him and then you have to think I was coming off of that rape trauma yeah and so I never that I never dealt with that I never talked to anybody with about and so there was a lot of turmoil that I was having. I wasn't necessarily, I wasn't thinking about, oh, Fabian is this guy that I'm trying yeah. to be with. I'm thinking, how am I going to get this guy back? But I, then at the same time, I don't want him I don't to leave. lose him. Yep. You know, but you want to feel the pain, but don't lose him. Right. And it's like, what? Could, but then you're not even speaking about speaking up about what you saw. Exactly. Right. So these are all the issues that I brought into the the, the relationship. Lack of and communication. And the fact of not speaking up was the same thing that you practiced when you were sexually assaulted. Exactly. Exactly. So it just carried it carried over. And I didn't realize the power of not speaking about the rape trauma until well after the fact. And I'm like, wow, what did I get myself into? Of evil that you display. Yes, my brother. See, what we're going to do here today is stop the shenanigans. OK, see, my father always told me that when you lie, you're not lying to nobody but yourself. And I have watched you since this story broke. Just lie and attempt to continue to manipulate the public. I mean, that's what you do. You manipulate people. You get online and have these bad faith arguments, which is also textbook narcissism, meaning you don't care about or even try to understand the people that you speak about. You said it yourself. I don't have no sympathy for a man who cheats. Not only do you not care or attempt to understand the people you're talking about to have any sympathy or empathy. All right. You are dedicated to deliberately misunderstanding and mischaracterizing others to make yourself look good. You like to paint other men as being dishonest and deceptive and morally corrupt. Why? Because you're a narcissist and that's what narcissists do. Project their BS onto other people. The reason you love to paint men as dishonest, deceptive and morally corrupt is because that's what you are. See, Derek, I waited to give you donkey because I wanted to see how you would react to all of this. And you reacted by doing what you've been doing all this time. And that's 
lying. See, I saw the first video you posted when you first addressed the allegations. You said that you and your wife were separated during that time and that you and Candace have had a sexual relationship without actually having sex. Listen, I'm in screw it mode, eff it mode. I'm hitting up old chicks. I really don't care at this point. One of those people was a girl named Candace. Now, here's the thing. So me and Candace have had a sexual relationship without actually having sex. Fallacies, nonsense, word salad, lies, denying changing definitions this is textbook narcissism people lying about what happened denial delusion trying to confuse us to make us doubt the reality of this reality of the situation see narcissists are often ill-equipped to have mature discussions or resolve conflicts but in their mind they are experts at it 